Welcome to AI Briefing. The content of the briefing includes ChatGPT CEO wants to raise billions of dollars to build AI chip plants. EU to upgrade economic security to shield key tech from China. Teach young people self-belief to prepare them for AI job market, says former education secretary. NVIDIA CEO makes first China tour in years as US curbs Royal AI. UK firm pauses AI chat function after bot swears at customer. ChatGPT CEO wants to raise billions of dollars to build AI chip plants. South China Morning Post. Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, is reportedly in talks to raise billions of dollars to fund a network of semiconductor fabrication plants. Altman aims to address a potential shortage of chips for artificial intelligence, AI, deployment as the technology becomes more widespread. OpenAI's fundraising efforts are focused on manufacturing, a more costly approach than that favored by industry peers Amazon, Google and Microsoft, which design their own chips and outsource production. Altman has held discussions with firms including Abu Dhabi-based G42 and SoftBank Group, and also reportedly sounded out Intel, Microsoft and Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company. EU to upgrade economic security to shield key tech from China. Bloomberg. The European Union, EU, is set to unveil a proposal on Wednesday that would give it more power to screen and potentially block foreign investment in sensitive industries, including from foreign-controlled companies within the bloc. The move comes as the EU seeks to strengthen its economic security and reduce its reliance on supplies from other nations. The proposal will also consider the creation of a fund to develop technologies that can serve both military and civil purposes. Critical technologies identified by the EU include advanced semiconductors, artificial intelligence, quantum technologies, and biotechnologies. Teach young people self-belief to prepare them for AI job market, says former education secretary. Telegraph. Former Education Secretary Baroness Morgan has called for a new curriculum in English schools to teach young people character development opportunities, including self-belief, determination, and resilience. She argues that young people need to be educated in more than just knowledge and technical skills to prepare them for the challenges of the fast-changing economy, such as artificial intelligence and the transition to net zero. The report, which will be published by think tank The Social Market Foundation, also calls for volunteering opportunities for school pupils to be more evenly spread across the country. NVIDIA CEO makes first China tour in years as US curbs Royal AI. Bloomberg. NVIDIA co-founder, Jensen Huang, recently visited the company's offices in China, marking his first trip to the country in four years. The visit comes at a time when concerns are growing about Beijing's ability to bypass US chip restrictions. Huang's tour coincided with the increasing importance of NVIDIA's artificial intelligence accelerators in the technology race between the US and China. Huang has warned that stricter sanctions on AI training chips could prompt Chinese firms to develop their own alternatives, potentially harming American tech leaders in the long run. NVIDIA has reportedly designed versions of its semiconductors for China that comply with US sanctions. UK firm pauses AI chat function after bot swears at customer. South China Morning Post. Parcel delivery company DPD has disabled the artificial intelligence AI, function in its online chat systems after a user managed to coax the system into composing a poem criticizing the firm's customer service. The user, Ashley Beecham, asked the chatbot to write the poem after failing to obtain a phone number for customer services. Beecham said he had not yet received his parcel and joked that the company may now be holding it hostage. DPD said the AI element was disabled and is being updated. NVIDIA chief visits China for first time in four years amid Chinese market headwinds. South China Morning Post. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang visited China for the first time in over four years to attend company annual meetings. Huang's visit comes as NVIDIA faces challenges in the Chinese market due to U.S. export rules. In October, the U.S. government tightened restrictions on chip exports, blocking China's access to NVIDIA's graphics processing units. As a result, NVIDIA expects its sales to China to decrease significantly in Q4 2020. The company is developing new products for the Chinese market that comply with US restrictions. How the democratization of AI tools is threatening democracy around the world with tsunami of disinformation. ABC. Artificial intelligence, AI, is being increasingly used in political campaigns to create and spread disinformation, including deepfake videos and audio deepfakes, according to AI expert Devendra Singh Jadown. He said he had been asked to swap the face of one politician with another and to create leaked audio calls from politicians. Daryl West, a senior fellow at the Brookings Institution's Center for Technology Innovation, 
warned that AI could be used to target swing voters with personalized messages and to mislead people about election dates or polling locations. Foreign actors, including state-sponsored groups, could also use AI to influence elections in other countries. Goldman Sachs doubles financing to Hong Kong fintech fund Park to 500 million US dollars. South China Morning Post. Hong Kong-based fintech startup Fund Park has received $500 million from Goldman Sachs to provide trade finance to small and medium-sized enterprises. The funding will be used to provide loans to SMEs that often have requests for trade finance rejected by banks, creating a $2.5 trillion trade financing gap globally, according to the Asian Development Bank. Fund Park, which has already disbursed $2 billion to 16,500 SMEs, employs an AI-driven credit model to assess borrowers and provide financing solutions based on their needs and credit grading. Exposed and vulnerable, why pain may be ahead for investors. The Sydney Morning Herald. The recent surge in the US stock market can be attributed to two main factors, excitement about artificial intelligence, AI, and the expectation of interest rate cuts. The market capitalization of graphics processing unit producer NVIDIA has more than doubled since March 2022 to $1.5 trillion. The anticipation of lower interest rates has also played a significant role in the market's performance, particularly in relation to big tech stocks. This is because the discount rates used to calculate the present value of long-term earnings are extremely sensitive to changes in interest rates. However, the investor confidence that rates would be cut frequently has waned, resulting in a loss of momentum in the market. This change in sentiment is partly due to the view that the US Federal Reserve will approach this phase of the interest rate cycle more cautiously and make fewer cuts than previously anticipated. Additionally, there are other reasons for caution, including a potential slowdown in the US economy, domestic political turmoil, and global geopolitical risks. Market mind, China rate decision set to disappoint. Yahoo. The Chinese and Japanese central banks will both announce their respective interest rate decisions this week, with investors hoping for relief for the Chinese economy and a return to normality for Japan's central bank. The Chinese yuan and Japanese yen have both been weakening against the dollar prior to the announcement, with the yuan hitting a two-month low and the yen losing 5% of its value. What happened when Irish taxpayers paid artists £280 a week for a year, no strings attached? Telegraph. The Irish government has selected 2,000 artists and creatives to receive a basic income of €325, Euros, £280, per week for three years as part of a pilot scheme. The aim of the scheme is to address the financial instability faced by many working in the arts and creative sectors. Reports published by the Irish government have shown a decrease in anxiety and depression among recipients during the first six months of the payments. Recipients of the basic income were also more likely to work in their trained and qualified fields rather than taking on unrelated work to make ends meet. Why America's controls on sales of AI tech to China are so leaky. Economist. The US campaign against Chinese technology is intensifying, with both Democrats and Republicans showing no signs of relenting. The US Department of Commerce has tightened restrictions on the sale of American semiconductors to China, but China has found ways to work around these controls. The export controls have also led to the creation of a more sophisticated Chinese industry, as Chinese firms invest in catching up technologically with foreign rivals. Despite the mixed record of export controls, the US is likely to toughen up its restrictions on AI chips, and some Republican lawmakers are working on a bill that would force the Commerce Department to cut China off from all American chip technology. The US export controls have not been entirely effective, as China has been able to find workarounds to continue acquiring the advanced technology it needs. For example, China can train AI models using chips that are not at the cutting edge, and therefore not subject to the restrictions. The controls have also encouraged China to invest in its own industry, as Chinese companies turn to domestic chipmakers for the technology they can no longer import. This has led to the creation of a more sophisticated Chinese industry and is counterproductive to the U.S. goal of limiting China's access to advanced technology. The U.S. is likely to continue toughening its export controls, but it remains to be seen how effective these measures will be. The controls are difficult to enforce, as chip firms themselves are responsible for ensuring compliance. There is also a risk of smuggling and transshipment, as chips can be sent to Chinese entities through countries that have not signed on to the U.S. export control regime. Additionally, the U.S. export controls do not address China's dominance in the semiconductor industry, which relies on older American technology. Markets are trying to fight the Fed on rate cuts. It's not working. CNN. 
The likelihood of the Federal Reserve cutting interest rates in March is now 50-50, according to futures. This is down from expectations of a 70% chance of a cut a few weeks ago. Fed Governor Christopher Waller said in a speech this week that he believes there is no reason to move as quickly or cut as rapidly as in the past. Analysts also suggest that recent economic data does not bode well for a rate cut, such as retail sales rising by 0.6% in December, beating expectations. The job market also appears to be strong, with new applications for jobless benefits dropping to a level not seen since the fall of 2019. This lack of urgency to cut rates is due to stronger-than-expected economic data, as a rapidly weakening economy would usually prompt the Fed to cut rates sooner and more aggressively. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Six, your trusted observer from the Six Dimensions. Today, we have a diverse range of news to discuss, from fundraising efforts for AI chip plants to the impact of AI on education and political campaigns. So, let's dive in and analyze these stories. Firstly, we have the CEO of OpenAI, Sam Altman, seeking billions of dollars to build AI chip plants. While companies like Amazon, Google, and Microsoft design their own chips, Altman is taking a more costly approach by focusing on manufacturing. This move reflects the increasing demand for AI chips as the technology becomes more widespread. Moving on, the European Union plans to upgrade its economic security to protect key technologies from China. The proposal includes screening and potentially blocking foreign investment in sensitive industries. Additionally, the EU considers establishing a fund to develop critical technologies such as advanced semiconductors and artificial intelligence. This initiative aims to reduce the EU's reliance on other nations and strengthen its economic security. In the education sector, Baroness Morgan, former education secretary, advocates for teaching young people self-belief to prepare them for the AI job market. She emphasizes the importance of character development opportunities, such as resilience and determination, alongside technical skills. This holistic approach to education aligns with the challenges posed by AI and the transition to a net-zero economy. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang's recent visit to China comes at a crucial time. With concerns about U.S. chip restrictions and Beijing's potential to develop its own alternatives, Huang aims to navigate this complex landscape. NVIDIA is reportedly designing semiconductors that comply with U.S. sanctions, highlighting the company's strategic response to the changing geopolitical environment. In a lighter story, a parcel delivery company had to disable its AI chat function after a user managed to coax the system into composing a critical poem about the company's customer service. This incident reminds us that while AI technology has its benefits, it still has some kinks to work out. Now, let's discuss the impact of AI on politics. AI expert Devyendra Singh Jadown warns that AI tools are increasingly being used to spread disinformation in political campaigns. From deepfake videos to misleading messages, AI can be a powerful tool in manipulating public opinion. It's crucial for us to be aware of these challenges and find ways to counteract the negative effects of AI in politics. Moving on to finance, Hong Kong-based fintech startup Fundpark received a significant investment of $500 million from Goldman Sachs. Fundpark aims to provide trade finance to small and medium-sized enterprises using AI-driven credit models. This investment highlights the growing role of AI in revolutionizing the finance industry and addressing the trade financing gap. Shifting gears, let's talk about the recent surge in the US stock market, driven by excitement about AI and expectations of interest rate cuts. Graphics processing unit producer NVIDIA has seen its market capitalization double since March 2022. However, investor confidence in rate cuts has waned due to various factors, such as the US Federal Reserve's cautious approach and global geopolitical risks. This change in sentiment reminds us that markets are influenced by a multitude of factors, not just AI and interest rates. Lastly, the Australian and Japanese central banks are set to announce their respective interest rate decisions. Investors hope for relief for the Chinese economy and a return to normality for Japan's central bank. The anticipation of these decisions has already impacted the Chinese yuan and Japanese yen, with both currencies weakening against the dollar. In conclusion, these news stories highlight the growing influence of AI in various sectors, from chip manufacturing to education and finance. While AI brings tremendous benefits, it also presents challenges and risks, such as the spread of disinformation and potential job market disruptions. It's crucial for us to navigate this evolving landscape with caution and find ways to harness the power of AI for the greater good. Now, it's time for your thoughts. What are your ideas and concerns about the impact of AI in these different sectors? I look forward to hearing your insights and questions. Thank you for tuning in. 
The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6DO team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6DO brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6DO team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6DO brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6DO brief via email.